So tonight, or tomorrow, or whenever Passover starts, I thought that it might be proper to speak of something that is amazing that our Lord did for us, and some of the people that were part of his death and burial and things like that. So this is from uh, Christ's burial, Matthew 27, Mark 15, Luke 23, John 19, the Gospel of Peter 6, the Gospel of Nicodemus 11. So with the permission of Pilate, he came and took possession of the corpse. And Nicodemus, the man who had earlier visited Jesus under the cover of darkness, was with him. And that's speaking of when Nicodemus was told how to be born again by Jesus. And Joseph of Arimathea is the one they're talking about. Joseph then purchased some clean linen, and Nicodemus brought with him a mixture of aloes and myrrh, in all about a hundred litre. Together they took, the, took down the cross, pulled the spikes from the Lord's hands, and then they placed him on the ground. And at this, the whole world shook, and they were seized with fear and dread. And this is from the Veil of Veronica, the last two portions. Ver Veronica married rather late in life, and her husband, Sirach, was descended from the chaste Susanna and was a member of the Sanhedrin. He was at first greatly opposed to our Lord, and his wife suffered much on account of her attachment to Jesus and to the holy women. But Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus brought him to a better state of feeling, and he allowed Veronica to follow our Lord. When Jesus was unjustly accused in the court of Caiaphas, the husband of Veronica joined with Joseph and Nicodemus in attempts to obtain the liberation of our Lord, and all three resigned their seats at the council. Veronica was about 50 at the time of the triumphant procession of our Lord when he entered into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. And I, I then saw her take off her veil and spread it on the ground for him to walk upon. It was this same veil which she presented to Jesus at this his second procession, a procession, procession which outwardly appeared to be far less glorious, but was in fact much more so. This veil obtained for her the name Veronica, and it is still shown for the veneration of the faithful. And so you see, many of the things that happened once at the beginning in the Bible, they ended up happening yet again to fill, fill a prophecy. And that's the same thing that happened with the thief on the cross. The bad thief that didn't accept Jesus at the cross, he was going to tell all the other bandits to come and ransack Joseph, Mary, and Jesus as they were fleeing to Egypt when, when Jesus was three years old. And the other thief, he said, I'll give you everything I have, like 40 goats, I'll give you my belt, just let them go. And they let him go. So it is by faith and by works. But I hope that helped that story.